Hello guys, in this video I'm going to teach you um, one of the most important verbs in Turkish uh, which is used in different ways with different adjectives, different nouns and um, this verb is uh, olmak and it means to become something or to become in a different way or to feel in a different way to get a certain feeling or um to be into a certain situation it has different different meanings uh depending on the word that it uh, becomes just i mean it, it sets just beside the verb of olmak um let's go through some examples and i'm going to show you how it works these are only a few examples of um, different words that um, just sit beside the verb and how the meaning can change. Okay, we have memnun olmak, which means to be satisfied or uh, to be glad to meet someone. Mutlu olmak means to be happy yorgun olmak means to be tired or to get tired sakin olmak means to keep calm or be relaxed or become relaxed or something sahib olmak means to own something being the owner of something and Üzgün olmak means to be sorry or to be sad. Sinir olmak means to be angry when something gets on your nerves. Rahatsız olmak means to get annoyed. And def olmak means to back off, like to get out of somebody's sight. Okay, I'm reading them uh, once more. Memnun olmak, mutlu olmak, yorgun olmak, sakin olmak, sahip olmak, üzgün olmak, sinir olmak, rahatsız olmak, def olmak. Okay, how to make the verb? The making the verb happens like this. Okay, the root of the verb, which is here as you see uh, is the same as the affirmative uh, form of the verb plus the suffix um, of the related tense so here we have how to make the affirmative form we take the suffix of the infinitive out and this suffix is mak or make um, depending on the uh, harmony of the sounds that uh, that chart that we we've had it in different videos we have uh, the suffix mak or mek here we have mak because we have the thick sounds here um the hard uh, sound not the soft ones we have o and a and these are in harmony so we have all mak we omit the part of mak and it becomes all and we are going to add the suffixes of different tenses and um, different subjective pronouns and to make the verb. So let's go through it. Here we have the verb conjugation in um, present continuous and let's choose something here. Um, let's choose what? Rahatsız. Rahatsız means annoyed. Let's say to get annoyed. Um, ben rahatsız oluyorum. It means I am becoming annoyed or something. Yeah, I'm becoming annoyed or I'm getting annoyed. Sen rahatsız oluyorsun. You are becoming or getting annoyed. O bu şu rahatsız oluyor. Means he, she, it. I mean, 
this he she it all means um o and bu and shu also means it okay uh okay it's becoming annoyed let's say uh says rahatsız oluyorsunuz you are becoming annoyed they okay we have siz rahatsız oluyorsunuz you are becoming annoyed biz rahatsız oluyoruz we are becoming annoyed sorry onlar rahatsız oluyorlar means they are becoming annoyed okay so we have these suffixes and mainly the suffix of your which uh means i mean it's the um sign of present continuous tense in turkish and we have um un like nothing uh uz sunuz and lar as the suffix says which um represents the subjective pronoun here okay let's go to other examples you will um get used to how to use them okay here we have they are becoming okay here we have the negative form of these verbs and just by adding the sound uh let's say the letter me here you will have the negative form okay as you see so we have oluyorum olmuyorum i'm becoming i'm not becoming so we have this m here as um the sign of negativity oluyorsun olmuyorsun oluyor olmuyor um oluyoruz olmuyoruz oluyorsunuz olmuyorsunuz oluyorlar olmuyorlar okay now here let's go to the other tense so we have verb conjugation in present simple they call it genish saman here we have olurum olursun olur oluruz olursunuz olurlar so ben let's say olurum what olurum let's choose a um choose an adjective let's say zengin zengin means um uh, rich ben zengin olurum i become rich sen zengin olursun you become rich o zengin olur he she it becomes rich siz zengin olursunuz we become rich sorry ya biz zengin oluruz we become rich siz zengin olursunuz you become rich uh, onlar zengin olurlar they become rich okay so we can add any appropriate word here which can have a meaning with olur and um this continue you can continue the verb conjugation like this you can practice it yourself okay let's have the negative form of it um the negative form of this present simple because this is a like everyday action or let's say something that um happens frequently um when it comes to the negative form it gives the kind of meaning of never okay like this one gives the always meaning and the negative form gives the um never meaning okay so we have this suffix of ma maz maz my maz 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 like yeah <laughs> let's go through them and i'll I'll tell you. Let's um okay, let's just read it. Olurum, olmam. Olursun, olmazsın. Olur, olmaz. Oluruz, olmayız. Olursunuz, 
olmazsanız olurlar olmazlar. So for an example, let's make an example like olmam. Like what can I say? Um, hasta. Let's um, add hasta, which means sick. And let's say ben hasta olmam. I'll never be sick. Sen hasta olmazsın. O hasta olmaz. Biz hasta olmayız. Siz hasta olmazsınız. Onlar hasta olmazlar. And I, we hope nobody gets sick. Okay. Uh, let's go to the other verb conjugation in simple past. Okay. So we have oldum, oldun, oldu, olduk, oldunuz, oldular. Um, let's give an example of zengin again. I feel better. <laughs> okay. Ben zengin oldum. I became rich. Sen zengin oldun. You became rich. O zengin oldu. He, she, it became rich. It became rich. Anyway. Uh, biz zengin olduk. We became rich. Siz zengin oldunuz. You became rich. Onlar zengin oldular. They became rich. Okay. Let's have them in negative form. Uh, okay, we have oldum, olmadım. Uh, oldun, olmadın. Oldu, olmadı. Uh, ol, olduk, olmadık. Oldunuz, olmadınız. And oldular, olmadılar. Okay. Um, you must take notes, guys. You must uh, put all these um, just mm, side by side. So you will see how it changes. Um, here we have the sound harmony of uh. Here in the previous page, we had do. But here we have dum. Okay. So, um, here you see the um, sound harmony here. If it, if we have a, oh, we uh, are um, intending to choose a sound. But here we had o, and where's the mouse? Okay, um, we had o, so we would likely choose the o sound. I mean, it goes like this. Okay. So we have um olmadım. Let's choose hasta for this negative one because we don't want to get sick. Okay. Uh, ben hasta olmadım. I didn't get sick. Um sen hasta olmadın. You didn't get sick. O hasta olmadı. She didn't get sick. Siz hasta o biz hasta Olmadık, we didn't get sick, siz hasta olmadınız, you didn't get sick, onlar hasta olmadılar, they didn't get sick. Okay. Um, here I ch chose get because it may mean get as well. I mean, as become sometimes is used instead of get, so I chose get. Um, let's go through the other tense. We have verb conjugation in past continues. They call it şimdiki zamanın hikayesi. I don't know why. And it means the story of present in the past. They, 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 I don't know. They give such kind of names to their tenses. But here, what past continues is in Turkish, let's say. Yes. Okay. Remember we had oluyor in uh, present continuous. Here we have do uh, sound. I mean, uh, do um, in, as a suffix of the past tense. 
and so we have the past tense suffix and the present continuous suffix all together uh, and it gives us the meaning that we get from past continuous in English okay oluyordum uh, what can we add as an example? Like, I was becoming what? I was becoming, let's say, tired or annoyed. Or something positive, what we can add. I was becoming um, anyway, let, let, let's use annoyed. Okay. Ben rahatsız oluyordum. I was becoming annoyed. Sen rahatsız oluyordun. You were becoming annoyed. O rahatsız oluyordu. He, she was becoming annoyed. Siz rahatsız oluyor. Biz rahatsız oluyorduk. Yeah. Biz rahatsız oluyorduk. Means we were becoming annoyed. Siz rahatsız oluyordunuz. You were becoming annoyed. Onlar rahatsız oluyorlardı. They were becoming annoyed. Okay. Let's go through the negative form of it. The negative form of past continuous. Here we have oluyordum, oluyordun, oluyordu. Oluyorduk, oluyordunuz, oluyorlardı. And the negative form goes like this. We add the me. Letter here we have oluyordum, olmuyordum. I was not becoming. Uh, oluyordun, olmuyordun. Oluyordu, olmuyordu. Oluyorduk, olmuyorduk. Oluyordunuz, olmuyordunuz. Oluyorlardı, olmuyorlardı. Okay. Let's go to the other tense, which is... Future simple. They call it gelecek zaman. Yes. The time of the future. Yes. The suffix that they use is jak or ajak. Um, and according to the sound harmony, uh, here we have ajak. And if we had the soft sounds here, it was going to be ejek. Okay. But here we have the verb um, all, so we're talking about this verb only. So we use ajak. And when it comes to the, um, when it comes to a vowel, it uh, changes to yumushak ge, they call it, which sounds like r, like r in French. But um, a lot more softer than that, okay. So here we have ben olacağım, sen olacaksın, o olacak, biz olacağız, siz olacaksınız, onlar olacaklar. And it means like ben olacağım means I will become. Let's say what? I'll become a doctor, let's say. Here we don't need an adjective, we use a noun. Ben doktor olacağım. I will become a doctor. Sen doktor olacaksın. You will become a doctor. O doktor olacak. She will become a doctor. Biz doktor olacağız. We will become a doctor. We will become doctors. Siz doktor olacaksınız. You will become doctors. Onlar doktor olacaklar. They will become doctors. Okay. Let's go to the negative form. We will add ma and because a jack starts with a vowel sound, we need a y sound between this a and this a sound. So the suffix here will be my, like all my Um I will not become, I won't become. Let's say a doctor. Let's say about somebody who doesn't want to be a doctor. Um, okay. Here we have uh, ban doctor Olmaya Jim. I won't become a doctor. San doctor Olmaya Jackson. You won't become a doctor. O doctor Olmaya Jack. He won't be a doctor. 
and biz doktor olmayacağız. They won't become doctors. Sorry, we won't become doctors. Siz doktor olmayacaksınız. You won't become doctors. Onlar doktor olmayacaklar. They won't become doctors. Okay, let's go to the other tense. Here, this uh, tense is um, kind of weird. <laughs> They call it gelecek zamanın hikayesi. It means uh, the story of a future time. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it it means. I mean, it adds a meaning of was supposed to. Something that was supposed to be, but it didn't become the way it was supposed to be. So, this is a kind of verb. And, okay, we have olajaktım. Like, I was supposed to be, <laughs> let's say, doctor. Okay. Let, let me read them. Olacaktım, olacaktın, olacaktı. Olacaktık, olacaktınız, olacaklardı. I was supposed to become a doctor, let's say. <laughs> um, sen doktor olacaktın. You were supposed to become a doctor. O doktor olacaktı. He was supposed to become a doctor. Biz doktor olacaktık. We were supposed to become a doc become doctors. Uh, siz doktor olacaktınız. You were supposed to become doctors. And onlar doktor olacaklardı. They were supposed to become doctors. Okay. Yes, doctor. So we have the combination of ajak and uh, actually do for past tense but because we have the sound of k here that d has changed to t this is the story you see here we have d at the end of this one because the original of this suffix of t t t t here was do 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 okay <laughs> so yeah J just learn it just learn it and don't go so sophisticated i mean about what was the story behind these letters i mean when when you talk you don't think of them J just memorize them okay okay yeah we <laughs> here we have a kind of Uh, tense in Turkish which is about the past but um, they call it duyulan which means what is heard or öğrenilen or what is learned from somebody else get me someone so it's a story that is told by someone else it might be true it might be not And in this tense, it's it gives the meaning of it is said that, like I've heard that, or I've learned from somewhere that something has happened. This means that I haven't seen it myself, but I've just heard, or I've just learned, or I mean, someone told, or people are saying this. So, the, and um, it gives a meaning of like I'm not sure I've heard it. So if it's a lie, I'm not guilty. It has this kind of, um, how can I say, content behind this verb. And um, I personally prefer to uh, call it the gossip tense, okay? <laughs> Because what they say, what they talk about this tense, it's all the stories which is heard by someone else. Uh, which is hard. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, let's let's just go through it. Uh, it's very, it sounds like present perfect to me, okay, and because in Azeri Turkish, they use it like present perfect, um, yeah, yeah, let me tell you, I mean, it sounds like present perfect, but the story is, I mean, the person who is using this tense, um, is not 
sure of what he's saying, or he's saying that he is not the witness, he's just learned about the news. Let's go through it. Okay, we have the suffix mish in four different forms in this tense, and so we have olmushum, olmushsun, olmush, olmushus, olmushsunus, olmushlar. So we have the form of mush of the four different shapes of the suffix mish. Here, because of the sound uh, o, we uh, obey the harmony of the sound um, of the harmony chart. So we have it in this way. Um, let's go through the meaning. What can I say? Let's say that somebody says that we have become in a certain way, like we have become what? We have become like annoyed by something, let's say. It is said that I have become annoyed. Like somebody says that I, I was annoyed by something. Um, or let's say sick, that I have become sick. In San Hastol Mushson, it is said that you have become sick. O Hasta Olmush, it is said that he has become a oh my god, <laughs> I didn't correct it. Um he has become sick and biz hasta olmushos, it is said that we have become sick. Um Sis hasta olmushsunos, it is said that you have become sick. And it is said that they have become sick. Onlar hasta olmuşlar. Okay. So, you see, this is the meaning. I mean, all this is squeezed into this little word here. Okay. Yeah. Enough of this. Let's go to the negative form of it is said that. So, we add the suffix ma here, and it becomes olmamışım, olmamışsın, olmamış, olmamışız, mamışız, yeah, olmamışız, olmamışsınız, olmamışlar, okay, so let's become become what? Let's become happy. Not happy. <laughs> it is said that I haven't become happy. Olmamışım. Olmamışsın. It is said that you haven't become happy. Uh, o olmamış. It is said that he hasn't. Oh my god. Uh, he hasn't become happy. Um, biz olmamışız. Biz mutlu olmamışız. Uh, yeah. I forgot to add mutlu. Biz mutlu olmamışız. Uh, it is said that we haven't become happy. Uh, siz mutlu olmamışsınız. People say that. You haven't become happy. Onlar mutlu olmamışlar. It is said that they haven't become happy. Okay. Uh, here, sorry because of the grammatical mistake here. Because I was just going to copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. So. Yeah, I forgot to uh, correct this one. No problem. You understand. Okay. Let's go through other things. Uh, let's see what, what do we have here now. Oh, yeah. We have the verb conjugation of a tense, uh, which they call it Gelecek Zamanın Rivayeti. I mean, it's something about that is said about the future. It is again something that is said. So we are not sure. We don't really believe. So, but people say that it will. I mean, yes. So we have olacak, which is the future form of the uh, verb ol, 
And we have this suffix of mish and the suffix of uh, representative of uh, subjective pronoun. Okay. The meaning olacak mışım. Let's say mutlu. Mutlu olacak mışım. It is said that I will become happy. Sen mutlu olacak mışsın. It is said that you will become happy. O mutlu olacakmış. It is said that he will become happy. Biz mutlu olacakmışız. It is said that we will become happy. Siz mutlu olacakmışsınız. <coughs> mutlu olacakmışsınız. Yes. Um, you it is said that you will become happy. Onlar mutlu olacaklarmış. It is said that they will become happy. Yeah. All of this long, long, long sentence is just this little verb here. Let's go through the other tense. Now we have the negative form of it. It is said that I won't. So, olmayacakmışım. Olmayacakmışsın. Olmayacakmış. Olmayacakmışsınız. Mışız, sorry, olmayacak mışız, olmayacak mışsınız, olmayacak mışlar. Or larmış. It doesn't matter that they use it in both ways. Olmayacak mışlar. Olmayacak larmış. Oh my god, I'm confused. Both of them are correct, I'm sure. Okay. Here we have... The meaning of it is said that I won't and etc. Here we have ban olmayacakmışım. Let's say that. Let's add doctor. Ban doktor olmayacakmışım. It is said that I won't become a doctor. Like, like people think that I will not, never ever become a doctor. It has such a meaning. Sen doktor olmayacakmışsın. It is said that you won't become a doctor. O doktor olmayacakmış. It is said that he won't become a doctor. Biz doktor olmayacakmışız. It is said that we won't become doctors. Uh, siz mutlu, um, doktor olmayacakmışsınız. It is said that you won't become doctors. Onlar doktor olmayacaklarmış. Ormuşlar. Anyway, it is said that they won't become doctors. Okay. Yeah. Actually, these words are long enough to just contain all these meanings here. Suffix, 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 suffix. How many suffixes are there? Let's let's count. One, two, three, four suffixes in one word. Okay. Yes. Past perfect. Something familiar. They call it something really long. Do you learn something that is heard? Geçmiş zamanın hikayesi. The story of what is what was heard about the past. All the life is a story for them. Maybe they're right. And we have the combination of mish and Geçmiş, which is past. Let's see how it works. So we have that suffix of do, which has changed to to because of this aspirated sound of sh here. We have kind of assimilation of the sound d to t, but they directly write it here. Okay. Um. So we have olmuştum. Olmuştun, olmuştu, olmuştuk, olmuştunuz, olmuşlardı. Okay. So let's add a meaning to it. Like ne olmuşlardı. Um, we can say hasta olmuşlardı. Like they had become sick. Let's add hasta. Yes. Easy. Ben hasta olmuştum. I had become sick. Sen hasta olmuştun. You had become sick. 
O hasta olmuştu. She had become sick. Biz hasta olmuştuk. We had become sick. Siz hasta olmuştunuz. You had become sick. Onlar hasta olmuşlardı. They had become sick. Let's go through the negative form of it. The negative form of past perfect here we have duyulan geçmiş zamanın hikayesi olumsuz. We add ma here. Olmamıştım, olmamıştın, olmamıştı, olmamıştık, olmamıştınız, olmamışlardı. Okay. Let's add something that can be used for all these subjective pronouns. Olmamıştım. Let's go continue with hasta. Yeah. Ben hasta olmamıştım. I hadn't become sick. Sen hasta olmamıştın. You hadn't become sick. O hasta olmamıştı. She hadn't become sick. Biz hasta olmamıştık. We hadn't become sick. Uh, siz hasta olmamıştınız. You hadn't become sick. Onlar hasta olmamışlardı. They hadn't become sick. Okay. Here, we have some examples of some very often used um, sentences or phrases, let's say, um, which word uh, with the word all and these verbs and phrases or sentences are um most often used in turkish so uh i will translate them for you and i will read them for you once then i will translate them and uh, you will see how this word is used in different parts of the language okay sen çok oldun olumlu olumsuz ne olacak ki olmamalı neden ol neden olmasın olmuyor bir türlü olsa olsa olur mu öyle şey olur mu öyle şey bal gibi olur ne olur ne oldu okay let's go through the first one we have sen çok oldun it means yeah it means you are becoming very spoiled or you are becoming very rude you're you started to act rude it means this or it means that you then çok means um something extra you are becoming something extra to my world i mean i don't want you anymore <laughs> that means that okay olumlu means positive olumsuz means negative And the okay, we have ne olacak ki. It means what will happen. So what? Okay, what will happen? Olmamalı means it shouldn't become. Here we have uh, malı, uh, a suffix that will mean sh should. Olmamalı, like become. We have all ma is the negative suffix and malı is the should it's a mamalı means shouldn't all mamalı it shouldn't become or it shouldn't exist sometimes it means it shouldn't be let's say neden olmasın it means why not uh, or why why sh why shouldn't it, it happen something like that why not neden olmasın olmuyor bir türlü it means it happens in no way like it doesn't happen or it doesn't go in the way that i want bitterly olmuyor also also means as and um if it ever happens like they're talking about something and they say it doesn't happen like olmuyor bitterly it happens in no way also also and if it ever happens it goes like blah 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 blah. 
Okay. Olur mu öyle şey? Uh, means, come on, don't take, don't say that. They use this um, uh, sentence, and it means like, like, come on. I mean, don't you ever think that you think will happen? I mean, and they use it. Don't say that. Like um, when they are uh, flattering. They use this word like they flatter, like saying, um, "Yeah, we have been annoying you, and um, we have been bothering you. So sorry for all the bothering, for all the disturbing things that happened." And they may answer like, "Olur mu öyle şey?" It means, "Come on, don't say that. It never happens like that. We are never annoyed with what you have done." Um, yeah. You may uh, hear this a lot during flattering moments. Okay, bal gibi olur. Bal means honey, gibi means like, and olur means becomes. It becomes like honey. And it means like, um, that will be perfect. I mean, it will happen and it, it will be perfect. It means that. Okay, ne olur? And they use it repeatedly. They're like, no olur, no olur, no olur. And it means please, please, please. Okay. And no olur, it means no olur means what will happen if it happens. Okay, what will happen if you do that? So that has a meaning of please. Like begging for something. Okay. Um, ne oldu means what happened. They use it, ne oldu, like what happened. Directly means what happened. Ne means what and happened means oldu. Okay, here we come to the end of the video, guys. I hope you take notes and uh, you, um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Have you have learned different things? If you have learned things, if this video was useful for you, Give me a thumbs up and that will help for me. That will be a help for me, yeah. <laughs> okay, and good luck. Revise your notes. I know Turkish is a difficult language even. I mean, Turkish people, I mean, their minds get blown. I mean, when, when they want to explain all these suffixes and it's not easy even for them they have learned it naturally and um we when we uh, study about it we see how complicated it is but um just memorize it and um you will find out how to use it by watching and listening lots of turkish um videos let's say okay um see you in the next video and good luck